if you get it? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Good, you got it. Take for instance, Mrs. Mooney and a posh. Business never better using only pussy cats and toast. <laughs> now what pussy's good for maybe six or seven at the most. And I'm sure they can't compare as far as taste. Mrs. Lovett, what a charming notion, well, eminently it practical and yet appropriate ways. as always. Mrs. Lovett, however, that without you all these years I'll never know. So delectable, also undetectable. Our choice, how clear, for what? For what's the sad of the world out there? What, Mr. Tom, what, Mr. Tom, what is the sound? Those crunching noises pervading the air. Deny it in here. These are desperate times, Mrs. Lovett. Desperate measures are called. Here we are. Hot out of Miss Sainsbury's packet. <laughs> what is that? Well, it's a horse priest. I'm a little priest. Is it really good? or something like that. Now you see the trouble with poet is how do you know it's deceased? Try the priest. I agree. I think so. Lawyers rather nice. It's lean. Well, then, if you're British and loyal, you might enjoy Royal Murray. Anyway, it's clean. Though, of course, it tastes off wherever it's been. Here's the cry of Antonia. thicker. More like thicker. Those up above. Everybody shaves, so there should be plenty of flavours. How gratifying for once to know that those above will serve those down below. What is that? It's fop. Finest in the shop. Or we have some shepherd's pie peppered with actual shepherd. Bun. Well, you never know if it's going to run. Try the fryer, fry the fryer. No, the purging is really too coarse and too mealy. An actor, that's compactor. Ah, but always a right overdone. Like three time curtain call nominee Charles Randall. <laughs> Towards the world, my pet. Yes, yes, I know, my love. We'll take the customers that we can get. High born and low, my love. We'll not discriminate, great and small. No, we'll serve anyone, meaning anyone, and to anyone. 